This is a video for discoverdigitalphotography.com just to show you how to use layer masks. I'm using Photoshop Elements here but it's um, very much the same in the full version of Photoshop and there's just a few differences in PaintShop Pro and GIMP so um, sort of what I'm showing you here you can use in those as well. So we'll start off here I've got um, an image with three different layers and to create a layer mask you click on the layer that you want to create the layer mask for which is the top one here and then you go to this little symbol down here and it says add layer mask when you hover your mouse over it and then click on that and it's now created a layer mask for us so you can see there it says layer mask thumbnail when I hover over it so if you click in there we're now selected on the layer mask thumbnail and in a layer mask you use black to hide and white to show so if we um, use a paintbrush with some black paint on it you can see that it's hiding this top layer and showing down to the layer that's underneath it so if we change our paintbrush to use white paint I'm just pressing X on the keyboard here to swap the um, front and back colours you can see we can paint back over where we've put the black and um, it shows the top layer again so that's um, the basics of it um, and then of course we can choose any colour in between black and white so here I've chosen a colour that's about 50% grey so you can see that it makes the top layer semi-transparent so it's sort of showing half from the top layer and also hiding half so you can see down to the layer below at the same time. If you choose a nearly white colour it will be um, nearly showing the whole layer. And if you choose a nearly black colour then it's nearly hiding it. You can see that it's not, um, there is a slight difference between it. <coughs> Now to um, get those colours back to normal, I'm just going to press D, and I'm just going to um, fill the layer mask with white. That's Alt and Backspace to do that. Um, so the other thing to be aware of with layer masks is, if you're using a paintbrush to paint them, is the um, hardness of the brush that you're using. So at the moment we've got quite a soft brush. So if I paint with that you can see it's very feathered at the edges. And if I um, switch to using a hard brush you can see it's got a very hard outline. So obviously a hard brush is good for um, sort of using a layer mask where you've got an object with a definite outline around it whereas a soft brush is better where you want to sort of ease the transition between the top layer and the layer below it. So I'm just going to um, control and backspace this time to fill it with white which is the um, back colour and um, let's put this hardness back to 0% so just to show you the sort of thing that you might want to use a layer mask for is we can um, using the soft edged brush and painting black we can just paint on this top layer to hide it and reveal the layer that's underneath it um, and if you click hold down the alt button and click on the layer mask thumbnail takes you to a view where you can see the layer mask thumbnail. I'm just going to fill this in all black here. There we go. And then if you click back onto the layer thumbnail, we can see that. So that's with the um, top layer hidden, that's with the top layer showing and the mask 
glide. Um, if you shift click on the layer mask thumbnail, then you disable it. So that shows um, what it was like with the without a layer mask. So you can see it makes um, quite a good difference when you're um, working on landscape images and sort of working with multiple exposures to blend them into each other. Um, I'm just going to delete that layer mask now. And so next I'll show you how to use um, a layer mask based on the luminosity or you could say the brightness of the image. Um, in the full version of Photoshop this is quite easy, you can just press Control alt and 2 and then alt click the um, layer mask icon to create a layer mask based on luminosity. Um, in Photoshop Elements I'm not aware that you can do a selection based on luminosity so it's um, a slightly bit more complicated but it's still quite easy really. So with our layer selected I'm just going to press Ctrl and A to select all and then Ctrl and C to copy. I'm going to create the layer mask I'm going to alt click in it so that we're viewing the layer mask and then I'm going to press Ctrl and V to paste the picture that we just copied and then you can see at the moment the sky is white so it would be showing the sky and um, this is darker so um, that would be partially hidden but um, we don't, since the sky is white in this actual image here we don't want to show the sky but instead we want to hide it so we want that to be black so if we press Control and I that inverts the mask and we can see now that it's um, showing the sky from the image below and it's partially showing the um, sort of shed here in the grass from the top layer. Um, it's going to press Control and D to deselect that. And if we click back onto the layer mask thumbnail, it's going to use the brush to um, touch this up a bit. Maybe reduce the size slightly. That's probably a bit too small. Um, so I'm going to use white on this bottom bit to show that. I'm just going to do it on the shed as well. And then I'm going to use black on the tree. Just to um, darken that up a bit. Um, so I think that's really the basics of using layer masks, so um, I hope that helps.